Hello, it's only from Rensburg and um, I've got this, this old polish uh, tin. It's a little bit rusted inside, so I'm first going to take out the rust. And then I'm going to paint it with chalk paint and maybe use my air drying clay and my molds to transform this in something hopefully beautiful. So I've got this Evopo rust. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, put it on here, put this paper towel in and uh, put it in this bag and keep it there for 24 hours or 12 hours and then I'll take it out and see how it looks. This one I'm not worried about, but this one has got a little bit of rust. So I'm just going to take this and put a generous amount onto all these places where the rust is. I just want to keep it wet so um, so that's why I'm going to put this in there And then I'm going to put it in this plastic bag and I'll come back tomorrow and I'll open it up, wash it and then uh, use it. So yeah, for now it's going to stand like this for 12 to 24 hours. So I'll see you later. I left this overnight. So I'm just going to take this off and uh, wash it. I hope it has taken most of the rust and converted it. So I'm just going to wash it with soapy water now. Um, then I'll be back. Then I'm going to wipe it with 92% um, alcohol. And then I'm going to use a, um, a sandpaper and I'm going to lightly um, just... Oh no, I forgot the word, but anyway. And then I'll uh, gonna paint it in chalk paint and maybe put a little bit of um, air dry clay mold on top. So I'll I'll be back just now. I just wanna quickly go and wash this.
Okay, it's dry now. I decided to uh, much potch this um, peacock onto this lid. So what I did, I, I already removed the backing of the tissue paper or the, or the serviette. You must just make sure you take everything off. You will see it's got two or three layers. Just make sure you just take the top layer. You see there's one, two, And then you can see there's your top layer. Must be transparent. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to tear along all these edges. And then I'll come and match patch it onto the tin.
Okay, I'm going to put this one inside the tin. So here you can see one, two, two layers. As I said, just make sure you take them off. Otherwise, um, it's not, not going to look that nice. And you can even use this also for something. You can see there's a faint uh, pattern there. I usually keep them and use them somewhere else. So uh, I'm going to use this one to put it in here. It's maybe going to make a few folds or so, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. Um, it's cold here, so you're... Yeah. So I'm going to put a rather generous amount inside here. Yeah? Okay, for now I'm going to dry it like that, then I'm going to break it off there in the bottom and then I'm going to just put a, if it's dry, one in the round here. So uh, I'll see you when this is dry. Okay, this is dry now, so all that I'm going to do is I'm going to take an old emery board, just go in one direction. So I'm just going to take this. and go around that it makes a nice edge like that. I'm just going to top, touch up with this edges here around the peacock with my um, with my uh, chalk paint and then I'm going to do a little bit of gold specks on the tail and then I'll see if I'm going to do anything else but uh, I'm very happy at the moment so um, I'm going to clean up this area now.
Okay, this is dry now. If you like, you can put a coat of varnish on top. You can put a matte top or a gloss top, gloss um, top coat or whatever you want to put on this. Uh, acrylic works very really nice, uh, acrylic varnish. Um, it's just, it would just keep it looking nice, better and longer. So yeah, I'm finished now. So um, I think I'm going to use mine for a jewelry box next to my bed. Um, you can see it's it's a delightful little tin. You can't think it was this that went to that. So if you like this, please like and subscribe and hit that bell. And then you can see future uploads of my next videos. Uh, and I will see you next time.